welcome to I Am Suski. My name is Erin McNeil, and I'm interviewing Abby Cox about the Unity Club. So can you tell me a little bit about what the Unity Club is? The Unity Club is basically a club that we use to help get students to have acceptance in the school, and we celebrate diversity and stuff like that. <laughs> what do you do in Unity Club? Um, we try and plan activities and stuff that can help make the school united and that can help with diversity and acceptance. So what have you done in, so far in the Unity Club? Um, last year we helped make the Get Real Day, which we're continuing this year for two. Um, one in November and one in February. And then we also made a Spirit Week last year. Also um, a Thanksgiving, like a thanks for giving meal for the teachers where we like thank them for everything they've done for us and we would choose like one teacher to bring. Um, and then upcoming we have the thanks for giving again, the get real days. Um, and then this upcoming week we have the Nightmare Before Christmas movie, like the picture show where we're having students come in and we have food and activities for them to do, so. Why would someone want to join the Unity Club? The Unity Club is basically a good cause. I mean, we try and get everyone accepted and stuff like that, so. So when do you guys meet? Um, we meet every Tuesday from 3 until 4, and yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the Unity Club? Uh, the Unity Club is, a, once again, a good cause, and you should join it. Thank you. I'm Erin McNeil, and this has been Ion Susky. Have a great day. Hello, this is Kirsten Kelsey with Ion Susky. Today we are here with Sarah Mal to discuss track and field. Sarah, what do you do in track and field? I throw discus. Cool, what else can you do in track and field if you besides discus? There's um sprinting, long distance, high jump, long jump, shot put, javelin, hurdles, things like that. Cool. And when does track and field start up? In the spring. How long have you been doing track and field? Since about 7th grade. What's your personal record in track and field? 65 feet. Cool. So, um, is there anything you would like to recommend or say for anyone out there who's interested in track and field? Yeah. Track's a really great sport and I recommend it. Right. Well, you heard it here, folks. This is Kirsten Kessler and Ion Suski signing out. Welcome to Island Susky. I'm Lenny Maynard here with Mr. Lewis. He was a math teacher here at the high school. So, Mr. Lewis, what kind of things are you involved with in here at the school, like extracurricular activities? Well, uh, right now I'm coaching football and track. Uh, football, obviously, in the fall, track in the spring. Uh, during the winter, I do a lot of work in the weight room. I'm also involved with Warrior Nation. Uh, I do a lot with Battle of the Buildings when that comes around every winter. Um, and also involved with uh, chairing the school spirit committee, which is a committee of teachers here in the high school. All right, and um, what do you think your favorite thing about being involved with the school would be? Uh, just making those relationships with kids outside of the classroom. I get to see kids in a different light um, and maybe talk about some things that are a little bit more personal to them, uh, whereas in, in class, in school, it's, it's more about the work and the curriculum than it is um, about the kids sometimes and about their personal lives. We don't get that time in the classroom. Yeah. 
Um, and lastly, could you tell me a little bit more about the Warrior Nation program? Sure. Warrior Nation right now is is a group of students, um, basically our, our student section at the high school. Their presence can be felt at volleyball games, football games, soccer games. Anytime you go to an athletic event, you'll see our Warrior Nation fan base there. Um, as we move now towards playoffs this fall and as we get into things in the winter, uh, we, we like to get those fan buses and make sure we're, our presence is felt at away games uh, and make sure our athlete, athletes feel supported. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Lewis, for your time. You're welcome. I'm Evan Mosco for Ion Susky here with Jake McDonald talking about the uh, baseball team. So, Jake, uh, how do you feel about this upcoming baseball season? Um, this upcoming season, I think we have a good shot of going to districts. Um, we have a lot of talent in the grades that are going to be on varsity next year, and you know that's not just seniors and juniors. That's for everybody included on whoever makes varsity because it doesn't matter what grade you're in. If you have the skills and you're ready, then you you can compete at the varsity level. You can definitely go. And next year, you know, I think we're going to have a lot of core talent, and we're going to go. We're going to go a lot further this year and have a much better season. How are you personally preparing yourself for this new uh, 2012 season during the off season? Um, personally, well, we we always have like our you know off season program. We weight lift, we do conditioning, we do all that. But um, this year, it's going to be more in depth, and it's going to be you know more intense. But personally, like I'm looking the days that we're not doing that to go out and work with the coach that I worked with last year, who really helped me with hitting and pitching and the aspects of that. And I'm re I'm just I'm ready to compete for a varsity spot. I mean, I want to be you know every day. You know, I, I want to you know I want to be one of the best out there. And I know you know that's a long shot. I'm only in my third year playing. You know. People will say things, but I'm ready to prove everybody wrong and just go out there and have a good season on varsity. Do you expect a large turnout of new players for this 2012 season? Um, every year it's different. It just depends on who who shows up and who's dedicated to it. I know at the meeting last week there were a lot of new faces in there, so I'm, I'm anxious to see who who turns up and who's dedicated to it and who's going to you know, be on our Warrior baseball team next year. How does the Susquehannock High School baseball team compare to other teams in our district and our area? Um, well, we're a smaller school than a lot of other schools, but we still have a lot of talent. We have, you know, the big, a lot of pride about our program, and that goes a long way. We ha we're very dedicated. You know, we're just going out there each and every day trying to do all that we can to compete, and I think, you know, the spirit of it is just, it, I think that goes beyond all other schools, honestly. Okay. Thank you, Jake McDonald. For Warrior TV, I'm Evan Mosco signing off. Hi, my name is Adam Nolan, and I'm interviewing Coach Kerr here for Ion Susky. So, Mr. Kerr, why did you get into coaching? Um, I always loved sports. I was a three-sport athlete when I was in high school. Um, I was pretty much a gym rat, and after my playing days were over, I still wanted to be involved in sports and involved with youth, and uh, coaching was an obvious choice. So, why should people go to the football games? Well, our kids play hard. They fight hard. We've been, we haven't been fortunate enough to win a game yet, um, but there have been some exciting moments this year towards the end of the season. I really think we have a great opportunity to have some success, some success on the field. Um, that's why I think kids should go. Okay. And so what are your goals for next season? Next season, we just want to continue to improve, get better. Um, work hard in the off season to get ready for next year and hopefully we can have some more success. Okay, and besides working hard in the off season, what else will you be doing to accomplish these goals? We're going to be looking at the offense and defense, uh, may, maybe changing some things offensively and defensively. As coaches, we also go to clinics to try to keep up on what other coaches are doing, not just at the high school level, but also at the college level. Okay. And you said you played sports in high school and 
What sports did you play specifically? I was a football player. I was a basketball player. I was a wrestler. And I also played baseball. Okay. And what position did you play on the football team? I was a quarterback and a defensive back. So how long have you been coaching? This is my 18th year. Anything else you want to say? Go Warriors. For Warrior TV, this is Adam Nolan signing off. Hi, I'm Tori Rossa with Warrior TV. I'm here today with Jess Baltasia, who's the drum major of the band. Can you tell me more about that? Um, well, this year we have a really cool show. It's called Tribal Power, and it incorporates like a lot of things from uh, around South America, Middle Americas, like the Aztecs and the Mayans and stuff like that inside the show. It's really cool this year. Okay, and uh, what things do you incorporate that actually make it tribal? Like, do you have costumes? Um, yeah, we have a couple of tribal costumes. We have uh, these drums, basically they're made out of trash cans, and they have these tribal fabrics, and they sound really cool. And we also have this really big whole dance in the beginning that's really tribal and it looks really awesome. And I understand you guys participate in Fall Day. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, um, basically what we do is depending on whose fall day it is, if it's the Southern Elementary or the Friendship Elementary, we go and perform our show for them and basically you just kind of say, hey, these are the instruments, this is really cool, come join us. Oh, so it's like it's a big learning experience for the kids too, you teach them about that? Yep, and we teach them like all the different instruments, we kind of show them, we play like a little song for them each section and they get to learn a little bit more about instruments. Alright, and I understand you guys have a big competition coming up? Yeah, this Saturday actually. Um, I think we only have like three more competitions, but we've been doing really well and the last couple of weeks we haven't had any competitions, so our score has been pretty low and we need to really get a boost up to get a leg up on the championship competition. And you win competitions? We do. We've come in first place for like four, three, three or four competitions we've been in. So. Well, congratulations. And why do you think band is important for our school? I think music in general is just really important because it's kind of like the language that bridges all languages and it's just brings everybody together. It's a really great learning experience. You learn a lot from music, like different components and just basically the mechanics of instruments. All right, thank you very much. I'm Tori Rasa for Warrior TV.